classifying objects to understand the concept first we need to understand what is an object a thing that can be seen and touched is called an object we see a large number of objects around us like we human beings animals birds cloth cycle books chalk blackboard and many more all these objects are of different shapes sizes and color now the concept of object is clear so we will now move on to classification now what does classifying object means it means the sorting or selecting or picking of objects into groups with each group having its own characteristic properties characteristic properties means features is called classification of objects clear now in order to understand more precisely let's go through the chapter bigger and smaller when we have two objects of unequal sizes then one of the object is bigger and the other one is smaller here in this very first picture the mother kangaroo is bigger and the baby kangaroo is smaller now how did i notice that you can also notice it by their sizes see the mother kangaroo is bigger than the baby kangaroo similarly see the some other options are also there take the bigger and cross the smaller one has been done for you the duck is bigger than the duckling next is the dolphin the dolphin is bigger than the calf the baby dolphin is called calf c a l f next picture see the cow is bigger than the calf beside that the kitten is smaller than the cat whereas the cub is smaller than the lion similarly the ship is bigger than the lamb let us see some more examples here the yellow bottle is smaller than the pink bottle or we can say that the pink bottle is bigger than the yellow bottle similarly the lion is bigger than the fox or we can say the fox is smaller than the lion clear now next taller and shorter when we have two objects of unequal heights we say one object is taller and the other one is shorter see here prince philip has two castles the left hand side castle has taller towers while the right hand side castle has shorter towers that means the left hand side castle is taller than the right hand side castle similarly some other pictures are also there here in this picture just below that castle the woman the woman is taller than this this girl just beside that picture the tree that is in the left side 
is taller than the tree that is in the right side next picture is this castle is shorter than the building here are two bottles the left hand side bottle is taller than the right hand side bottle similarly the next picture the hen is taller than the cheek whereas the left hand side donkey is taller than the foal means the baby donkey let us see some more examples the coconut tree is taller than the mango tree or we can say that the mango tree is shorter than the coconut tree similarly the cottage is shorter than the building or we can say the building is taller than the cottage same and different objects can be grouped as same and different if two or more objects size shape and color are similar then we call it as same and when two or more objects size shape and color are not similar then we call it as different some examples i have given see two flowers first is two are uh, two flowers the two flowers are looking same that means they are same the next picture have one air cooler and one heater both are different in size shape so they are different the next picture is one vulture and one sparrow i think both the birds are different in size shape and color as well so they are different the next picture is of i mean are of two fans both look similar in color design or size and shape also so they are what they are same okay so let us see some more examples then look at these teapots they have same size shape and color they look same look at these hats they are of different sizes and colors hence they are different heavier and lighter when we have objects that are difficult to lift or move is called heavier whereas when objects are easier to lift or move then it is lighter let's see yo i am snaily snail i am lighter than you i am tilly tortoise and i am heavier than you so in this conversation the snail is saying to the tortoise that it is lighter than the tortoise similarly the tortoise is also saying to the snail that yes he is heavier than the snail let's see some more examples here the elephant is heavier than the crow or we can say 
the crow is lighter than the elephant next the monkey is lighter compared to the lion or we can say the lion is heavier than the monkey next the bag is heavier than the pencil or the pencil is lighter than the bag next the cupboard is heavier than the vase or the vase is lighter than the cupboard so let us see some more examples look we have a pig and a cheek if we put them on balance scales the scale is not in balance that means their weight are not equal so here we can say the pig is heavier than the chick or we can say the chick is lighter than the pig we have a pumpkin and a bell paper we can say that the pumpkin is heavier than the bell paper or the bell paper is lighter than the pumpkin thicker and thinner objects can be thick or thin if one object is plumpier or has more depth then it is called thicker and if an object is delicate or has less depth then it is called thinner look at this example i want the thicker slice of cheese i will have a thinner slice well in this conversation one mouse is saying that he will have the thicker slice of cheese while the other small mouse will have the thinner slice of cheese now next one radish is thicker while the other radish is thinner one pen that is in the left side is thicker than the pen that is in the right hand side similarly the left hand side gum is thinner than the right hand side gum next the left hand side medicine is thicker while the right hand side medicine is thinner compared to the left hand side medicine so let us see some more examples so it will be easier for you to understand it more clearly so let's go look at this red book it is thick and look at this green book it is thin similarly the chalk is thicker and the pencil is thinner longer and shorter when we have two objects of unequal lengths then one object is longer and the other one is shorter here the yellow snake is longer than the blue snake there are two brushes one brush is longer than the other brush two pencils one pencil is longer compared to the other pencil two ropes are there one rope is longer than the other one let's see some more examples then come on here the pink shirt is longer than the green shirt or we can say that the green shirt is shorter than the pink shirt 
Similarly, here the red crayon is shorter than the yellow crayon. Or we can say that the yellow crayon is longer compared to the red crayon. More or less. When we have two objects of different quantities, one is more in quantity and the other is less in quantity. See this picture? These are less bananas while these are more bananas. The monkey is holding in his left hand that is less bananas while in his right hand the bananas are in more in quantity. See these grapes? The green grapes are in more quantity while the blue grapes are in less quantity. See the right hand side there are more birds sitting on the branch of a tree while in the left hand side there are less birds. The next picture there are more muffins in the left hand side picture while there are less muffins in the right hand side picture. Next there are more pumpkins in left hand side compared to the right hand side pumpkins. Let's see some more examples. Look at these boxes of sweets. This box has more sweets and this box has less sweets. The cookies in red plate are more while the cookies in blue plate are less. Above and below. When the two objects are in different positions, then the one object is said to be above and the other is below. See this picture? Binky, the bee, is flying above the plant. Freddy, the frog, is sitting below the plant. Here, the bee is flying above the plant whereas the frog is sitting just below the plant. The next picture, the dog is sitting above the table whereas the cat is sitting below the table. Next picture, the bird is sitting above the tree and the other bird is just standing below the tree. Here, the bee is flying above the mouse's head while the mouse is standing below that bee. The teddy bear is above the stool whereas the cup is below the stool. Let us see some more examples. This light is above the woman's head. This girl is swimming below the water. This boy is jumping above the skateboard. These words are below the airplane. These hearts are floating above the table. This hand is below the crown. Left and right. When two objects are in different positions, then the one object is in right while the other is in left. See these pictures? The pencil is in the 
left hand of this girl and the chocolate is in the right hand whereas the magic wand is in the fairy's left hand bananas are in the which hand yes left hand of the monkey the nut is in the left hand of the squirrel let's see some more examples then the girl is in left side the boy is in right side this is left and that is right this is left hand side and that is right hand side the blue car is in left side while the yellow car is in right side the burger is in left hand side the hot dog is in right hand side the cow is in left hand side while the horse is in right hand side empty and full objects can be full or empty when one object has more quantity in it then we say it's full and when the other object has nothing in it or zero quantity then we say it's empty look at this picture this flower vase is empty it has no flowers in it while this flower vase is full it has many flowers in it in this conversation with the boy and the girl the boy is saying that the vase which is in his side has no flower in it that means it is empty while the girl is saying that the vase that is in her side is full of flowers that means that is full see the next picture one bowl is empty while the other bowl is full of sweets in it the glass that is in the left side is empty while the glass that is in the right side is full now let's see a story meet cherry the parrot he is at the playground and he is playing with the toy box and it's full with toys he was jumping in joy oops he turned the box over all the toys are out and now his box is empty uh oh now he went near to the sand bowl to play there's a pink bucket full of sand as soon as he started to play with it oops he dropped the bucket and now all the sand is out now his bucket is empty don't be sad cherry you had a good time playing degrees of comparison degrees of comparison are used when we compare persons or things with others let's see the examples here long longer longest chimpo's tail is long whereas chino's tail is longer than chimpo's where chunky's tail is the longest here by comparing all these three monkeys tail tails one thing is clear that Chimpu's tail is long, but Chino's tail is longer than Chimpu, while Chunky's tail is the longest among all. Next, 
heavy heavier heaviest pinky's book is heavy whereas rinky's book is heavier and chinky's book is the heaviest here the books are being compared the green book which the pinky have is heavy the red book which the rinky have is heavier but chinky's book the yellow one is the heaviest among all of them next near nearer nearest pinky's house is near to the school whereas rinky's house is nearer to the school and chinky's house is nearest to the school that means pinky's house is near to school but not that close whereas rinky's house is somewhat nearer to the school but chinky's house is the nearest most to the school means it's very close to the school this is how the comparison is done here the next one is light lighter lightest johnny's football is light whereas johnny's cap is lighter and johnny's balloon is the lightest here the three objects are being compared first one the ball means the football of johnny's is the light whereas his cap is lighter than the ball and his balloon is the lightest among the cap and the football compared to them the balloon is the lightest now let us see some more examples then chalo here nikki ricky and sam have brought a christmas tree to their class where sam's tree is tall nikki's tree is taller than sam's tree where ricky's tree is the tallest of the three trees rupa is tall mohan is taller than rupa vidya is the tallest girl in her class with this we have completed our very first chapter now what you have to do is you have to watch this video as much as you can okay just watch it many more times so that the concept of classifying objects will be clear to you and from this exercise means from this chapter they have not much exercises only this much is there so uh, do this one in your maths copy take help from your parents to draw them and do the tick marks and the cross marks whatever is mentioned over here by yourself and i will be giving you some more homeworks separately not in this video okay so yeah thank you have a nice day bye bye